Every month, I visit the Nespresso website to stock up on my coffee. I love their coffee and their service is excellent, right? But the user experience of the website just pisses me off on a whole new level. Today, I decided I am going to redesign the Nespresso website in one hour. So I am an existing customer with Nespresso. I go into their coffee page. The text is everywhere. I just don't feel like reading it. You know, when I come in here, I have to scroll to get the list of coffees. I don't know what this icon means unless I'm familiar with their products. And when I'm browsing for my capsules, I would like to filter by intensity and stuff. I don't see the filter button because the green buttons here and the labels and this sticky header is screaming for my attention, so I missed it already. So today my goal is to improve the design of just this page and let's see how it turns out. So to speed things up, I have prepared all the screens here on Figma. I'm going to set a timer of 60 minutes. So there are two things that they're trying to sell here. One being subscribe, another one being spend more um, upselling the user to get free delivery. So let's keep these two in mind and see how we could incorporate that in the new design. This is how it looks like before the redesign. Information is everywhere, it's a long list of capsules, and it's really hard to find what I want. So in the new redesign, I've made it easier for users to scan through and choose whether they want to view by card view or list view. Information is now clearer, filters are now more prominent and more useful to the users. I've also added a decaffeinated filter, so it's more helpful for people. Upselling is now more prominent at the bottom. So the goal of this redesign is actually not to show how fast can a person finish the design in one hour, right? And in the real world situation, we will do user testing, validate with people first, gather data, any insights that we may find while people are using our site and set the product to success. You know, if you have any ideas on how to improve it, feel free to comment in the section down below. If you like what you see, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.